All right, ladies and gentlemen, your boy is back with another video. If y'all heard some in the background, that's rain. It's raining over here. So don't be surprised if I start yawning. No, I'm just kidding with you. But anyway, folks, yeah, it's raining over here. But guess what? That ain't going to stop me from putting out this video. So with that being said, folks, let's get right into this video. Let's get right into this topic. Folks, I believe for y'all to stay tuned at the end of this very video. Make sure you press that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And do not forget to share this video. This is an important message that somebody needs to hear. Wherever you at, whatever time it is or whatever you at, Watch the end of this very video, because I'm telling you, it's going to hit you right in the heart. But today, folks, we're going to talk about walking alone. When you walk alone, a lot of people is going to be going to despise you. When you start walking alone, you're going to confuse a lot of people. But guess what? You wasn't born here to please nobody. You was not put here on this earth to follow the crowd. You was put here to be a leader. But anyway, folks, let's get, let's get into this video right here. No holding back. Ladies and gentlemen, listen up. When you start walking alone, it's going to be a lot of people despairing you. Because they see that you are not easy to get over. They see that you have no problem being alone. These people have no problem. Well, you don't have any problem of walking alone. Because when you walk alone, you don't have to deal with no drama, no BS from nobody. And not only that, you get things done. They don't have to go out and play. They don't have to go out and club and waste their time. But you, when you walk alone and they see that you are happy, they can't stand the fact that they are seeing you happy. People think when we walk alone, we supposed to be walking around here, oh, woe is me, walk around with our head down and whatnot. But that's the total opposite. We walk around here very, very happy. Notice this. When people walk around, but crowds, when they can't isolate themselves, when they can't stand to be alone, they got to have somebody to talk to. So they're not wrong with talking to people, but at the same time, if you got a goal to chase, if you want to accomplish the goals, you got to isolate yourself from a lot of people that's trying to scratch you. But some folks, they can't do that because they got to constantly has somebody right there holding their little hand like a little child. They need somebody to talk to. They need this. They need that. But you don't need none of that. Excuse me. But when you walk alone, <laughs> it does something to people. Every time they see that you being alone, it turns their insides up. Not knowing you're the most happiest thing ever. But they could hang around with a bunch of people. But at the same time, they could be unhappy. I ever heard that quote, I'm a bunch of room with a bunch of people. I'm in the room with a bunch of people. And I feel like I'm the only one in the room. That's them. You can surround yourself with a lot of people all you want to. But you're going to be unhappy. But when you isolate yourself and you walk alone, you're going to be very, very misunderstood, but that's okay. Let them misunderstood you. Let them misunderstand you. Let them sleep on you, as a matter of fact. But when but when they wake up, oh, baby, yeah, when you wake these people up, <laughs> they're going to be in a heat lot of trouble because they had thrown the wrong person on the doggone bus. Y'all understand where I'm coming from right now. 
it's time for a change. And the moment you had started changing, they had a problem with it. Just like it says on my shirt right here. Change. It's time for a change. When you start changing in a good way, they had a problem with it. Because they had no idea somebody like you would end up being the GOAT. They had no idea somebody like you in the family or in the little crew that you used to hang with, that you would be the one. But let me tell y'all something. God can pick anybody at any given time and make them a somebody. I don't care who you are, who you look like, your skin color, your height. I don't care what you look like. God can pick you out of nobody. He can pick you and make you into a millionaire. He can pick you and make you successful. He can literally pick you, folks. Turn you from a negative into a positive. Do you think I'm lying? Do you think I'm lying? No, I'm not. But when God pick you and you start isolating yourself from a lot of people, a lot of people going to really be upset with you. But that's fine. Because this ain't got nothing to do with them. This is your blessing. This is your calling. This ain't their blessing. And they will be very, very, very upset when you start doing good all alone. All by yourself. But at the same time, you ain't had to you ain't do this all alone. You had God with you the whole dog on time. But what these people feel to realize is when you walk alone. You're not really alone. You got the most high with you. The guardian angels is also with you. Your ancestors is also with you. But see, when they hang with a bunch of, <laughs> when they hang around with a bunch of nobodies, all they're doing is going out and celebrate, celebrating failure. Going out, getting drunk, clubbing, smoking. Like they really going to impress somebody. Get out here and go chase some goals. Go out there and make something happen. Go out there and be the gender. I mean, go out there and change the wealth of your family tree. Go out there and break generational curses. Now, that's something that's very, very impressive. But they don't want to hear that, though. But y'all don't hear me, though. I'm talking to the people out there that, that would not understand this video. They ain't gonna understand it. But guess what? Everybody ain't gotta understand it. Because this is for the people who been alone or been walking alone to that path of success. Because once you start walking to that path of success, get ready to lose a lot, a lot of people, a lot of friends. A lot of people is going to walk out of your life. But guess what? Who cares? You don't need them anyway. They need you. And it be very funny. As soon as you prove them wrong, now all of a sudden, they want to praise you. They should have been praising your name when you were starting off at the very bottom. But people wait till you get way to the top. Now all of a sudden, they want to praise you. They want to claim you. Oh my, ooh, oh my goodness. Look at my baby. Look at my cousin. Look at my this and that. But when you were struggling and at the bottom, <laughs> this the funny thing about it, folks. Back then, they take you as a joke. But now, they see you now become a successful. Now it's a problem. Now you, now your family. Oh, that's my brother. Oh, that's my cousin. Oh, that's my sister. They ain't never fake support and fake love. This is why God had to isolate you from these folks. Because he saw the bitterness and the fakeness inside these people. But back then you didn't understand what was going on. You see, 
but now that you became older, you became an adult, now you finally understand why you never had friends in high school. Now you finally understand why you had to walk alone for a amount of time. Not saying you could be alone forever, but you will be some people that gonna be on the same level, on the same frequency as high as you. But in the meantime, between time, you gotta isolate yourself from a lot of people because a lot of people is not gonna understand where you are coming from. But when you start telling your gifts and your talents to other people, they're gonna think you bragging, but you ain't bragging. But in the loser's mindset, oh, he bragging, or she that's bragging. That's that saying they jealous of you because you have made it with, with or without their support. They really think because they ain't gonna support you that you ain't gonna make it, <laughs> that devil is a liar. Everybody in your hometown can hate you, but guess what? You can go to another city or another state and somebody else is singing your praises. Somebody else see the potential in you and they don't even know you. Hmm. Ain't it funny? How strangers that you had never met and are supporting you. But this is the journey of walking alone, folks. If you're walking alone, listen to me. If you're walking alone right now and you feel like nobody ain't supporting you, guess what? You are on the wife path right now. You are doing the right thing. Do not let people hypnotize you thinking you ain't doing the right thing or you never going to make it. Because you are. This is, just a, this is just a temporary battle right now. You're going through a season right now. Before you get to the finish line, you race it right now. Before you get to that finish line, you're going to meet a lot of obstacles. A lot of people that's going to try to stop you. But don't you let nobody stop you from getting to that finish line. And I'm not saying life is a race or anything, but y'all get the point. But this journey right here, walking alone, some people can't handle it. Some people can't take it. Some people can, some people can't. This is why God had put you in the position of being chosen. If you are chosen, hear me out. You're going to lose a lot of people. You're going to have to be forced to be walk alone. When you listen to God, when you say you got to walk alone to do this, you got to listen. Don't listen to these people. Because all they're going to do is try to distract you. They're going to try to distract you. Try to stop your vision. Excuse me, try to stop your goals. And try to distract you. They ain't nothing but the devil getting in your ear and saying, you ain't got to do this. You ain't got to do that. Be mediocre. Don't listen to that. Do not listen to that voice of negativity. Go out there. Walk alone. Do what you got to do. And do it with self-confidence. I don't care how bad you look in front of people. I'm not saying you're going to look bad, but other people. They're going to try to make you feel bad. But don't you let these people make you feel bad, folks. <clears throat> they just jealous of you. Because you're getting a job done without their support and without their help. Who cares what they got to say? Who cares what they think? Now, for the people out there that don't get along with their family, Christmas had that's passed. And I'm pretty sure you had to be around your folks. And I'm pretty sure you felt some type of energy around these people. But let me tell you something. I bet as soon as you got away from these people, you were, you were very glad to be by yourself. Because, see, when you walk alone, also, depending on who you are or what type of family you came from, background, whatever, your family members is not going to understand you as well. Depending what type of background you come, you had came from. Even your own family members, they don't understand why you choose the path that you choose to be on. But guess what? 
you happy. Long as you happy, that's all that matters, folks. That's all that freaking matters. Long as you happy. But when you walk alone, be prepared to lose a lot of people, a lot of family members, and a lot of friends. Because it's going to happen. This ain't easy, and this ain't for the weak people. This is for the soul survivors only. This is for the spiritual warriors only. Chosen ones only. Star seeds only. If you mentally strong, this video is for you, folks. This is for you. If you had stand out from the crowd, this is for you. If you feel like you ain't got no friends, you don't fit in with nobody, this video is straight for you. It's for you. But let me tell y'all something. Do not be ashamed of being a lone wolf. Because a lone wolf is the strongest one. Do not be afraid of being the elephant in the room. Because that's the main strong person. You hear me? When you walk alone, that means you are mentally strong. You got to be a, you got to be very strong to be alone. But not too many people out here is that doggone strong to be alone because they need people. They got to walk with people. Like I told y'all, they got to hold hands with other folks. That's to feel cool. You ain't got to be cool just to hang with a crowd. You ain't got to hold hands with a bunch of people. That ain't your friends. But some of y'all out there want to be so comfortable or hold their hands because you're scared to be alone. And that's why most of these people ain't successful. Because they sit up here depending on other people. They don't want to put in the work. They're scared what other people are going to think about them. They very afraid to be alone. But when you walk alone, here comes the hate. Here comes the jealousy. Here comes the envy. But you still do it anyway. You still get the job done anyway. They're talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. They're talking to the cows and the horses come home, folks. They yap, 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 yap all day long. But is you going to let that stop you, though? Is you going to let the chit-chat stop you? Nope. Keep on walking alone. Keep doing your thing. Keep showing up. Keep giving these folks hell. Because as long as you're breathing, you're going to give them hell. And I noticed something. When we walk alone, people like me and you, when we walk alone, don't you know we got that spirit of confidence? And some people, not all people, but some people, they hang around these big crowds. They be hating on us. And these people got more money than us. Big houses. Their house is nice in their hours. They got the fancy car. They wear the fancy clothes. But they jealous of us because we walk alone. Let me tell y'all something. It don't matter how much money or materialistic things a person have. People can have more than you and still be jealous of you. So when you walk alone, don't be surprised. People that got materialistic things and got all this money to be hating on you. A lot of people that got money ain't happy, folks. But when they see you doing your own thing and you walking alone and you don't need no friends, oh yeah, get ready for the hate. And don't, don't say I warned you either. Because this is a warning right here. And you've been walking alone ever since. God knows when. You understand where I'm coming from. But if you just now started on this journey of walking alone, let me, tell you, let me tell you, it's not easy. Sometimes we want to fit in. Sometimes. But we got to remind ourselves of who we are and what we stand for. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I want to fit in. But it ain't going to feel right. So guess what? I remind, my, I remind myself and I snap out of it. Like, Brian, 
I know you want to fit in, but you got some work you need to do. I know you want to fit in, but you got some generational curses that you need to break. We can want to fit in all we want to, folks, but let me tell y'all something. We got work to do. I don't want to get in my 40s and 50s and 60s and look at that regret and I should have done this, I should have done that. But instead, we're hanging out with the wrong crowd because I want to feel accepted. Because I want to be cool. You could be cool all by your doggone self. Excuse me. You could walk right into that room and you don't need no two, three, four, five different people with you. That's to walk in there, that's to feel cool. You could walk into that room all by yourself and be cool. But when you walk alone and you stand alone, get ready to lose a lot of people. You're going to lose one, two, three, four, five. You're going to lose everybody. But ain't nothing but a challenge. Because God, see, he's going to test you. He will test you before he bless you, folks. So if you really want it, God is going to put you up to the test. He can remove this person, this person, this person, this person, this person. And if you're in a relationship and you're sleeping with the enemy, get ready to say goodbye to that partner as well. Because you got some of these people in relationships and they see that vision. They see what type of spirit they are carrying. But their partner don't understand them. Then they be talking that nonsense. Why you got to do all that anyway? You think you're going to make it out of your own city, hmm? Fellas, you know how them negative women talk. And ladies, you know how the negative men talk as well. Oh, you think you're all that because you're doing something. The jealousy is very real. And if you're in a relationship right now, and you're getting all this hate, your partner, supposed to be your partner, bashing out all this hate towards you. You need to leave that guy or leave her behind alone. Cut him off and just do this thing all alone. Because the only support you need is God's support. Really, that's all the support that you really need. Y'all type that in the comments below and say, I don't need nobody's support, but the most high support, G-O-D support. Everybody could walk out of my life and say the hell with me. But guess what? As long as I got the most high support, I can care less. But some of y'all out here is sleeping with the enemy. And you know your partner is very, very jealous of you. They are very envious towards you. Because they see you are going somewhere with your life. This is why you got to be strong. You got to be a lot. You got to be strong. You got to be very, very strong. Mentally strong as well. If you want to do this thing alone. Because if you don't want to do this thing alone, guess what? You ain't ready. But if you are ready, get ready to lose a lot of people. This journey is not easy, but guess what? In the end, it's going to be worth it, folks. You watch what I tell you. A lot of people had to go through it. A lot of successful people out there today had to go through it. Hmm. You think Michael Jordan hung around with a bunch of friends? Nope. Do you think Eminem did it? Nope, he had to be alone. And that's why they all where they all at today. They had to go through that path of success. They had to walk alone, folks. And they had to do, do all that clubbing and doing all these things. They would not be successful as they are today. But if you want to do this thing alone, if you want to be successful, prepare to lose a lot of people. They sleeping on you now. But guess what? You finna wake them up. And it's going to be a rude raking. They turn their back on you, but let me tell you something. These people going to end up wishing like hell. They had never turned their back on you. 
stick with the people. Listen to me when I say this. Stick with the people that's ready to go down with you. What I mean by it is, stick with the people why they why you at the struggle. <laughs> Excuse me. If you are struggling right now, and you got one friend supporting you, stick with that person. When you're walking alone, and you got one person that's supporting you, that's rooting for you, stick with that person. But if not, God's there with you at all times, folks. Never forget that. Because this walking alone journey thing here is very, very hard. Isolation season, it's not, it's not easy. It's very hard. But let me tell you something. It's going to be worth it. So don't feel bad for not having friends. Do not feel bad for not having a boyfriend or a girlfriend, ladies and gentlemen. I've been seeing about half of my life. And do I feel bad sometimes? Let's be honest. Yeah, I do. But at the same time, this is isolation season. I got goals that I need to accomplish. I got things that I want to do in life. God will send me the right person. But in the meantime... I am focusing. Ever since 2019, I've been focusing. And guess what? I haven't lost track yet. Never got distracted yet. Had to call off this person, this person, this person. But guess what? I'm still out here doing the doggone thing. And that's the type of attitude that you got to have as well. Nobody got to use this person, this person, this person. Whoever walk out of your life, you still going to do bad all by your own. But at the same time, there are going to be some people that's going to come into your life and going to support you and keep rooting for you. Even when you get to the top, they're still going to root for you. But before all this happens, you must walk alone. If you're ready to go through that journey all alone, be ready. And be prepared. Because you're going to go through a whole lot of roadblocks. A whole lot of obstacles. From hater to this hater. Naysayer to that naysayer. See, they ain't teach us this in school. They really didn't. This walking season. This walking alone thing. It can be very, very, very stressful. That's if you stress. That's if you let it choose to stress you. But like I said, you got to have a mind of a warrior. You got to have a heart of a lion. You got to have it, folks. Because if you're not, this world will eat you up and spit you out. But if you don't depend on body, you do things all alone, no friends, no family, no none of that. You're on the right path, my friend. Just do not get distracted out here. Because it can be very, very easy to get distracted. But the moment you block all the chaos, all the negativity, all of that. Once you block all that out, you are good. And you're going to be good. But do not waste your time hanging around with a bunch of friends that's out there ce celebrating failure. Because you out there celebrating failure, and you hang around with these low lives and these bunch of nobodies, you are wasting your time, and you never gonna be nothing in life. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. If you wanna hang out in club all doggone day, every Friday, every Saturday, don't wait till you get old and say, "I wish I could have done this or done that." If you wanna do something. If you want to live a successful life, I suggest you do it right now. Don't wait till 2024. Do it right now. Do it today. Do not wait till January the 1st. Don't have no New Year revolution. Do it right now. Walk along right now. Set them goals up right now. 
And if they be mad at you, so what? Let them be mad. Because when it's all said and done, this going to be your blessing. Watch what I tell you. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I will see y'all in the next one, folks. That rain. Wayne well, rain go away. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.